In today's Eye on Entertainment, a female pop superstar sued for sexual harassment. And CBS 2's entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez is live in Beverly Hills with that story and a lot more. Suzanne. That's right, Pat and Rick. Now I'm live in Beverly Hills and Gary Oldman plays Winston Churchill just a few... That's a Lamborghini. We're in Beverly Hills. Okay, let me go back to the reason we're out here for this premiere. He plays Winston Churchill. You're about to see a clip. He's having to decide whether to sign a peace treaty with or to stand down against the Nazis. We must negotiate peace talks. When will the lesson be learned? You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth. Nonsense. The only slippery slope. Would you stop interrupting me while I am interrupting you? This looks so good, and critics are saying Oldman delivers one of his best performances of his career in Darkest Hour. He plays Churchill, who faced the biggest challenge of his life within days of becoming prime minister. Darkest Hour is by director Joe Wright, who brought us Anna Karenina, Pride and Prejudice, and Atonement. It's PG-13, and in theaters, November 22nd. Mariah Carey has been accused of sexual harassment by the head of her former security company, according to documents posted on TMZ. Michael Anello, who worked for Carey the past two years, says Carey insisted he move some luggage while wearing an open see-through negligee. He says there wasn't any physical contact. He said Carey has called him a Nazi and white supremacist, humiliating him in the past, and says he's also owed nearly $700,000. The reps for Carey told TMZ they'll pay what he's owed, but were unaware of the sexual harassment allegations. Lynn Manuel Miranda, who was just volunteering in Puerto Rico and announced $2.5 million in aid, has another present for the country. Lynn is bringing his hit musical Hamilton to Puerto Rico and will reprise his leading role as Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton will head to the island in early 2019 for a three week run. Listen, I'm in news, and when I hear stuff blowing up, when I hear th when I hear shots and blowing up, I, I got to run and wait. Find shots, out what's... shots blowing up, shots and then uh, a Bomb. car car alarm's going off. That's our Rick Garcia grilling David Boreanaz on the set of SEAL Team. Rick has a nose for news, so when he heard explosions on our lot at Radford, he grabbed a crew, a camera, his mic, and went straight to the source. Shows you just how realistic these scenes are. But check it out. Rick posed with a canine once he knew everything was a okay. That episode is airing tonight. That's why we're airing it. And Pat, I just want to know where were you? Were you running that camera? Uh, no, but no. I did meet Dita. <laughs> That's the, the canine. The dog. She's a Who's... wonderful boy. She is so loyal to David Boreanaz yeah. too. That's for sure. She's a method actor too. Real serious the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can't get it I'm glad to see Rick in, in action. Well, things were blowing up around me. I had to get out there. Thanks. Thanks.